So if you're diving into the world of hi-fi, you might stumble across some pearls like these from Cabas, the Pearl Keshi 2.1, which are named after the pearls you might find in Tahiti and the South Seas. So these precious little orb-shaped satellite speakers house eight centimeter drivers with 50 micrometer membranes and neodymium motors. And this larger Death Star looking unit is the base station and home to a 22 centimeter subwoofer. And these three components combined make up the Pearl Keshi 2.1 audio system from Cabas. Now, if you're not familiar with Cabas, they are a French high-end audio company who have been making hi-fi equipment since the 1950s, but they will cost you a pretty penny. And that's because you have all of that expertise in hi-fi behind them. At the time of this video, these will set you back 2,299 pounds and you can pick them up from Henley Audio who are the company that sent these to me. And they have a full range of loads of hi-fi equipment so I definitely recommend you check them out. But what you probably want to know is how much sound do you actually get for your pounds? Well, that's why I'm making this video for you guys. So let me tell you, the Pearl Keshi 2.1, although quite petite in stature, can deliver a peak decibel level of 115 with 300 watts RMS per satellite speaker and 450 watts RMS for the subwoofer. And all of this is powered by a Class D amplifier. For those of you not so familiar with RMS and how it relates to audio, essentially what it is, is a number that represents how much continuous power an amplifier can handle. And in the case of the Pearl Keshi 2.1, it's 1,050 watts. That's massive and trust me, it's a lot. And honestly, the power output will shock most people when they hear the Pearl Keshi for the first time. It's actually quite hard to believe your eyes, but don't trust your eyes, they can deceive you. Turn off your guidance systems and use the force. Okay, I've been watching way too much Star Wars. Apologies for that. Anyway, when it comes to design, it's the fine details that really stand out and make the difference here. I love the carbon fiber finish beneath the surface of the banana plugs provided, and I really like the finish on the braided power cable, and the chunky speaker cables feel very premium, and they are provided with it. And all three components of this system have a steel chrome finished stand, and this helps to raise the drivers off the surface and reduce vibrations traveling through your furniture or floors. And the stand on the satellite speakers can adjust to five different positions and these stands can also be wall mounted. And I kid you not when I say these speakers have four coats of paint on them to make sure they have that premium look. So let's talk about the audio and audio AI that Cabas use. There's something called the DEAP software built in that calibrates the DSP for the specific layout within the room that you have the speakers in. And Cabas also have AI software just continuously working in the background called DFE and CRCS. This uses an algorithm to optimize the sound signature for the specific environment that it's in. And it will also utilize its built-in mic to do this. And in my opinion, when it comes to the sound, you get amazing uniformity in its reproduction and the separation between the instruments and the vocals, even when they're hitting the same notes, are very distinct crystal clear and this particular quality is what audiophiles refer to as timbre or if you have a French accent timbre and one of the advantages of a speaker setup like this is that you have the ability to space the speakers far apart from each other thanks to the three meter cables that are provided and this assists with creating a wide soundstage effect and when you do this the stereo imaging is fantastic. But what really stands out to me when it comes to the Pearl Keshi is the low end frequencies, the bass. I am a bit of a bass head, so I can appreciate this more than some others. And if I had to sum up the bass with just one word, it would be kaboom, kabas kaboom. Okay, in all seriousness now, it is very, very impressive. It's incredibly bassy, especially when you turn up the level to the maximum. And trust me, you probably don't wanna do that because that will almost certainly off your neighbors. Really, there should be a disclaimer sticker on the subwoofer that says, do not play the Prodigy at over 50% volume because it might not be very good for you. So let me give you a closer look at the design. The main unit is the subwoofer component and the power runs into it. And in terms of ports, it houses an optical input, an RJ45 ethernet input, a micro USB, a 3.5 millimeter analog jack, and it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. And the sound system can support file playback up to 32-bit 
768 kilohertz, but there is no HDMI ARC connection here. So if you are gonna use this for a TV, I would recommend a good quality optical cable. And now let's talk about the Kabass app and the wireless features. Within the app, you can create an account and unlock the microphone features, and this will then allow you to link Alexa or Google Assistant. And here you can also use the Kabass DEAP software to select the speaker position and then you can also select your listening position and then use the auto calibration software that uses the mic to dial in DSP. Of course, this is a Wi-Fi speaker, so it supports Qbos, Deezer, Tidal, Spotify. It has web radio built in and Napster, and you can use Apple AirPlay as well. And in terms of file format supported, it supports WAV, MP3, AAC, WMA, AIFF, FLAC, ALAC, Vorbis, DSD, and WMA lossless as well. And there are some more advanced features within the app as well that you can play around with. And keep in mind that you can play to this speaker via Bluetooth. So that technically opens the door to any Bluetooth device. And there is a Bluetooth remote that ships with the Pearl Keshi in the box, which is pretty cool. It suits the styling of the speaker. It fits in the palm of your hand and it's got the basic play, pause, skip, and input controls and it kind of has this glittery finish which has quite a nice effect when the light hits it and then the outer ring is actually the volume control so you can just spin this continuously for those times when you want to turn it up to 11. so who is the pearl keshi 2.1 from kabass really for well in my opinion it's for anybody who appreciates hi-fi but wants an unintimidating looking speaker that looks elegant but minimal at the same time. And one of the strong attributes of the Pearl Keshi's design is the fact that it can blend into a modern environment very seamlessly. Again, that's thanks to that minimal style, but I'll tell you what's not minimal, the sound. And if you don't believe me, ask my neighbors. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you wanna check out these speakers, head over to Henley Audio. There'll be a link below this video. If there's any questions you have about this speaker system, let me know in the comments below. And if you just subscribe, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I will see you in the next one. So don't be late. The Pearl.